What's up? It's Jan and today we are doing another cleaning out my closet video. We're doing dresses and rompers today. As you can see, I'm moving. I started packing yesterday. I'm moving back to Illinois in about two weeks. Right now, I don't have my own apartment yet, but we're gonna we're working on it, okay? This weekend, my mom and I are going apartment hunting. It's very last minute. Don't judge us. We're we're good at this. It's fine. Here are my dresses and rompers. This section right here. We're gonna take that, put it on the bed, and then we're gonna decide what to keep, what to donate, what to sell. On Poshmark, I'll put my Poshmark here on the screen and down below. I have two other videos where I do this. I've done my hoodies and crewnecks. Oh, there's a cute ass dog outside. I cannot. I'm a sucker for gray and white dogs. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, I don't want to be creepy and like show you because obviously there's a guy attached to the leash, you know? <laughs> Walking the dog is what I meant. Anywho, as I was saying, I've done two videos like this before. I did my hoodies and crewnecks in one video, and then the second one is my jackets. So check that out. I'll have it in the suggested thing up there, and I'll have them linked down below. So yeah, here we go. This might be long, might be not. We'll see. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod now. Oh no, my camera's dying. <laughs> so here's romper number one. I've worn this many, many times. Wow, I guess I forgot that the back was like all mesh like that. But I'm definitely gonna keep this. I've worn this to several events. I love it. I don't have to wear a bra with it. I think that's gonna be my main criteria is if I have to wear a bra with it, it's going. I think that's a good, that's a good uh, caveat, right? Is caveat the right word? I don't even know. Okay, moving on. Here's a dress I got from Tilly's years ago. It's just a plain black t-shirt dress. It's right to my knees. It's comfy and I usually tie a flannel around t-shirt dresses. So I think I'm gonna keep this. It's simple, whatever. This dress is super see-through. This one I have to wear a bra for, but it's just a simple black dress. The only thing is, it is see-through, so I don't know. But it's just like super simple and like when I have to wear a dress or when I wanna wear a dress and don't wanna wear anything fancy, I just throw this on. Hmm. I don't know. I like like the shape of it, but it's like tight and then it like flares out. Ugh. So I put that dress over there. But this romper I wore once to California like years ago and I've been meaning to wear it again. I just haven't. And honestly, I look better in it now than I did before. So probably just gonna keep this. This is going so well. Okay, this is a no. First of all, it's stained in like multiple places. I've worn this once to my friend's debut, like 18th birthday party years ago. And first of all, we don't even talk anymore. Second of all, this is an ugly ass dress. <laughs> my only like plain white one, which is probably why I kept it for so long, but this is going. So I realized I actually have like three or four other plain black dresses. So this this one's definitely going. Here's another plain black dress. It's honestly super cheaply made. I'm pretty sure this is from like H&M or something. I think I've worn this only a couple of times and I like the length and I like the back. So I'm keeping this. Now this is from American Eagle. I just bought this like last year. I wore this, it has pockets, first of all. It's super similar to the black and white H&M one I showed earlier. I wore this to my, my graduation party with my family last year. So and then I think I wore it one other time to work or something. I don't even remember, but I like it. It has pockets, that's always good. So we're keeping this. Okay, this is like a acid wash, fake denim type of dress. I wore this strawberry picking like in high school with a couple of my friends. And I like how like black it makes my look hair my look hair oh my god how black it makes my hair look i don't know it was honestly kind of hard to zip up i wore this like once or twice but it's cute definitely can't eat like pasta in this dress though i think i'm gonna keep it just to see if i wear it again such a bad reason but whatever oh my god this dress is atrocious why do i own this i don't even know where i got this from i'm pretty sure i've never worn it i feel like if you guys have watched handmaid's tale i feel like a commander's wife in this dress because they wear this color ew i hate this this is going this is going. So in theory, this is a cute dress. I like the cut at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a nice like asymmetrical like, I don't know. The back has this like lace thing and I'm pretty sure I bought this as like, like I made it a dress. Like I'm pretty sure on normal people, this is a tunic because when I raise my arms, it goes so high up. I don't think this is a dress. I think I've worn this once. I'm getting rid of this. If you like it, it'll be on my Poshmark. This dress is cute. I do have to wear a bra with it though. I'm aware. I have bad memories attached to this dress. So this one's going too. And this is going pretty well. Look, I got a nice pile going. I'm impressed. So here's a nice bodycon dress that I wore in sophomore year of homecoming, high school. Yeah. Yes, it's cute and like elegant. Ow, I think it's time to let this one go. If you want it, it'll be on my Poshmark, so. 
This romper I bought for spring break like two years ago when my mom and I went to Mexico and I still love it, so it's cute. We're keeping it. Okay guys, this dress I wore, I'm pretty sure my 17th birthday. Why do I still have this dress? I am 23, why? Remember when these were like super huge though? Like the strapless pattern skirt, solid top part. Oh my God, this is going. Oh, there's more doggos outside. That one's little. I'm praying people don't look up and see me through the window because I'm trying to get natural lighting. But anyway, here's another strapless dress that I love. Okay, just realized apparently this had a belt. I bought this for, I know I wore it to a Christmas party like years ago in high school and I thing. I bought it last minute for homecoming or something. Because I remember having an argument about it that I bought a last minute dress. <laughs> But I still honestly like it. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it with a belt. Like, I wouldn't put a belt on this. I like it the way it is. I think I'm gonna keep it just for shits and see if there's some sort of semi-extravagant event I'll go to. Probably not. So this I haven't worn yet, and I definitely need a bralette for it. That's why I'm gonna hold it right here. I haven't worn it yet, and I just got it a few months ago. And I got it for, like, literally two or three bucks. I got it from Earthbound, and they were having this crazy sale. And then I went back a week later, and it was, like, 27 bucks, and I was like, what? Pretty sure yeah i got it for like three or four bucks not two too excessive we're keeping this one it's cute it's trendy ow my knee just cracked this is a t-shirt dress that i've had for a while i think i'm gonna keep it whenever i just want to throw something on t-shirt dresses are a must i haven't bought any t-shirt dresses in like years so keeping this so my mom bought this for me a year ago as a potential outfit for under my graduation gown i didn't like it a year ago but now i kind of do it's cute and it fits better than it did a year ago. It still has a tag on it though, and I can't believe that was a year ago. Holy shit. We're gonna keep this. I love this. Like, look at the back. And it's tie-dye. I remember wearing this to one of my friend's high school graduation parties. Um... Yeah, but other than that, I think I wore it a couple more times just to like family events and stuff. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep it because it's cute and I like the cut of it and it's breezy. It's a good summer dress, even though it's black, but that's a mood. Okay, so this romper I wore to my 21st birthday party with my family. I still like it. There's a cute bow on the back. It's from American Eagle. And I have the exact same one in this blue and white stripes and I'm keeping both of them because I love how these ones fit. Oh, my tag's showing. I hate these string things. I understand what they're for, but still they're annoying. Here's another black dress. It's it's just the crisscross lace thing and it's plain and it's cute and we're keeping it. Good thing I got rid of that see-through one because clearly I have a lot of black dresses. Oh, I have one more too. This one I just recently bought from American Eagle and by recently I mean a few months ago, but it's cute and I'm definitely keeping this one. So there's another black dress. This is like way out of my comfort zone. Also, I need a bra. I remember my mom picking this out. There were like six different colors at Forever 21 and it was on sale for 12 bucks. I don't know if I thought it'd be a cute like swimsuit cover up. I don't know what I was thinking. But but I haven't worn it yet and I like the color on me. I just, I don't know where I would wear it, when I would wear it, if I would wear it. But I do want to keep it just because I haven't worn it yet. I wish I had pockets too. I don't know why I have so many blue dresses and rompers, but I wore this once on Easter a few years ago and I think it'd be cute with like a cream bralette because I do need a bra with it. I do like it though. Because I wore it once, we're going to keep it. Okay, this one I need a bralette too because it's just like deep and like loose. But I've worn this a bunch of times, so it definitely got its use for me. But I still like it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just usually wear it to like family events and stuff. It's cute. So we're gonna keep this too. This one's super comfy. I love this dress. It's like a fake suede. I don't know. I feel like a like straight out of like Peter Pan. It's cute. I love this dress. We're keeping it. We're gonna go through the ones I am keeping because I do have a bunch that I know like I just bought recently or that do still fit me right and I've worn recently, whatever. So we're gonna look over here and talk to you this way. Okay, the rest of this video is gonna be quick. You can even see me. My DSLR camera died, so sorry if the quality changes in any way, like sound wise or whatever. I'm using my vlogging camera now, but it's dying too, so <laughs> everything's grand. So I gotta make this quick. So this, I still like, it still fits well. It's cute, it's pink, the back is open. Love that, we're keeping it. This I wore on my last day in retail. Peep that video. So I wore this like literally a week or no, like three weeks ago. This I've worn to a couple events like a wedding and an internship event and I love it. It's like an asymmetrical situation. We're keeping both. This I bought recently from TJ Maxx. I don't know. We're going to make it work. I don't know if I if it's like my style and it's honestly kind of long because I'm super short. But I think if I wear the right shoes, I think I could rock it. It gives me like 
kind of Amish vibes, but it's also super cute. It like buttons all the way up and stuff. So it's a cute like picnic dress. I never go on picnics. I don't know why I said that. This I also bought recently. I was gonna wear it on my birthday, but I wore a red dress instead. It's super cute. It's gingham. It's like super form fitting. And there's a little slit right here, which I love. That's my favorite part about the dress. So keeping that. These two are super similar, but I love both of them. Crisscross detailing, lace, and then this printed bottom that was super popular a couple years ago, but still love it. And then this one is kind of the same idea with a crochet middle, and I wore this under my graduation gown for Purdue. And I wore it in Cal no, Canada. And then this for sure I'm keeping as well. I wore this on my 21st birthday also for a different family celebration. Gray and white striped romper from American Eagle. Love that. Everything else? I'm not sure. Well, this I wore recently too, just like on a little date night. So we're keeping this. It's super similar to the other tie-dye dress I wore. I tried on. The rest we're gonna try on. Okay, we're just gonna do the last few like this because it's easier for me. But yeah, we're keeping this red guy. I wore this on Valentine's Day a few years ago and a couple other events. I wore it for my Spinelli costume on Halloween two years ago. So it's it's had many uses, but I love it. It's cute. It's my only red dress slash romper thing. So sorry this isn't focused. Wow. Hello. Hi. This t-shirt dress, it has like the ringer tee style, with the white trim. I think I'm gonna keep it just because I just got rid of one of my t-shirt dresses that I wore on the 4th of July. I was like, this is the last time I'm wearing this. It was like super short, it was like up to here. So I was like, I need to get rid of it. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Why is my lens so dirty? Hold on, let me fix that. I take it back. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. The neckline is like super loose and it just doesn't fit right. I'm gonna get rid of this. I have that other black t-shirt dress that we're gonna keep but this one's gonna go. Okay, this one I've been debating on getting rid of for years. I bought it when I was 16 working at Tilly's and the reason I haven't given it away or sold it is because the back is super cute. And I like the acid gray, but I don't like the cut. The neckline, I don't like how it like cinches in the middle like that. I think this one has finally got to go. I have yet to wear it, so I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. And I don't know, the length looks weird on me. So this one's gonna go. I feel, I look pregnant in this dress. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I like the back though, it's so cute. This one I've worn many times too. I wore it to work, I wore it to a graduation party. I've worn it with red lipstick. I wore it just to like dinner at Olive Garden one year. Honestly, I still love it. It's very classic black and white chic, you know, it's cute. I'm gonna get a couple more uses out of this. Okay, this is the last one. I have yet to wear this one as well. I bought it with that black and white, like tribal print one. And this one I've never worn. I just really fell in love with the sleeves when I bought this. Not only is it bell sleeves but it's like mesh and it has these designs on it but it dips so low okay honestly if i pin it it's kind of cute i was gonna wear it as a witch costume for halloween last year but it was so damn cold plus i didn't even do anything for halloween anyways because hashtag anxiety i don't know do i keep this i could like pin it but will i ever do that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But my camera's dying. We're gonna debate on this one. I guess I'll end it in this. Thank you so much for watching me clean out my closet once again. I have probably many more of these videos to come, but probably not soon because I'm just gonna focus on packing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for all the content that I'm gonna put out in the next few weeks um, with moving and everything. I'm excited. Please stay safe and stay positive always.